Hello Flipper Zero fans, I'm going to bring to you a brand new thing that can do the same as a Flipper Zero, depending on your skills, how technical you are, and so on. This is the Liligo or Liligo T-Embed. It's a unit you can go ahead and order it for around 28-ish dollars, you can get it in different kind of colors. Um, also a bit like hackerish with the green one. It's basically an IoT embedded panel for programmable development. So it, it's already intermediate for you guys. So you would need to know some stuff about Arduino, the code and so on in order to make this work. I also have a GitHub repository here, which is I think the official one. And this is for the Lilai Go. T embed and there are different kind of examples you can go and play around with um, sounds and so on. You want to know about what it what it can do. Um, it can do more or less the same thing as a flipper zero. You know, it supports GPIO pins. You've got sound. It's an okay screen actually in color, so I'd say better than flipper zero. It got infrared signals. It can probably also read the um, the, the the key tops and so on. I would say it, it got built-in Wi-Fi, it got built-in Bluetooth, and you know, it kind of just sets the limits. What can this device not do? Thinking about what you're using the Flipper Zero for already, you know, this is probably a device that can bring you just as much fun as the original Flipper Zero. So uh, let me compare this, you know, if you want a device that just out of the box works here and now, and you want Flipper Zero, and this is the thing you heard about with the great community and app you need to click on just works out of the box. Well, then you probably already set is on a Flipper Zero. But if you want a fun device that you can program and create your own stuff for with a firmware that is actually free for you to 100% go in and take charge of, which is the same, I guess, for Flipper Zero, but this is just a different thing. This is more like a Arduino ESP32 S3 dual core processor. So it does sound like it's a bit faster and so on, but they also tend to run out of, you know, gas, as you say, the power, the battery faster than the Flipper Zero does, probably, I guess. So if you want a very interesting device, you can go ahead and check it out. You know, I'm going to post all the links below in, in my description. And I have no further information about this device. Just tumble upon it. I want to share this for you guys that if you're looking for a cheap alternative within the a low dollar range, you know, around to 30, 30 ish, some of them is a bit um, more expensive, but you can go ahead and check out the other ones that are a little cheaper, you can say. So um, around 28 to 35 dollars, you can go ahead and check this device out by yourself. And you know, try and, and, and do with the firmware. There's probably going to be more to find online, but for now, this is the thing. Do you like it? Do you think it's fun? You know, the Flipper Zero alternatives are coming all around, all if, um, at the moment, and we are seeing more devices, more clones of the Flipper Zero. But you know, that ain't negative. Don't say clones just because it's oh, it's not a clone, it's actually just an upgradable thing. So I hope to see, you know, a market for these kind of devices in the future that's going to overtake the Flipper Zero because the Flipper Zero was just the very first step. And I know the very first step might be, well, have a very special place in your heart for some of your people owning a Flipper Zero. So not to disregard that, you know, I also have a Flipper Zero. I really love my Flipper Zero. It's a great device. But I also look for the technology outside the yarn. So basically, check it out. If it's something for you, let me know in the comment below. Have a really nice day and see you online again.